everyone, I'm Faye. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I'm just trying to figure out life and right now I'm focusing on finances. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, I believe the last video I posted was the last paycheck in May. Um, and I was saving up to go on a vacation at the beginning of the month, which I did that. Um, and I'm not the best with routine so once I got off the routine it's been a while for me to get back on it. So this video is going to be um, me sharing what I spent on my um, mini vacation and how much of my budget is left. So let's get into it. Um, I did also get... Here's what I found. Oh, whoops. I did also get a um, tablet. Here it is. Let me fix this light. So here is what I'm working with. And I'll link um, the planner that I'm using below. It's from, I believe, um, Happy Downloads. Um, and what I did was I just copied a page into the financial section and then used the trackers that I typically use and used them as stickers so I could still write in them. So I had a budget of $500 when I was going on my mini vacation. Um, and I figured that'd be enough because we weren't paying for lodging. Um, we were staying with my best friend's sister, um, so luckily that saved us a lot of money on, you know, hotel costs and um, um, because we were eating with her family, that did save us a lot of money on food. Um, but me and my best friend did split a lot of the costs, so I paid for all of the gas on the way down and the way back, and she paid for our meals um, as we we're driving down back and then a few little things here and there in the city. Sorry, coffee break. Um, so, and I did make a new expense tracker. Um, my plan was to track every single expense um, throughout the month. Of course, I tracked the ones from the vacation, but then got off track again and... Um, did not track anything else so but at least I have these so the first expense on the top um, was gas before I even went down um, so I ended up driving um, so I left my house drove to pick up my best friend who lives about an hour away from me um, and then picked her up and then we had it out um, DC was supposed to be about six and a half hours um, away from my friend's house, so it's seven and a half hours from my house. Um, things took an unexpected turn, um, and we ended up not getting there on time, and we had to stop and get a hotel. So, um, turns out my friend has really bad um, motion sickness. Um, that she hasn't had since she was a child. So we got about halfway through the trip trip before she started feeling nauseous. Um, and then, yeah, she just started throwing up in my car. And every time I tried to drive anywhere, it just started back up. So um, we made a lot more stops than anticipated. And by the time it reached nearly midnight, um, we just called a local hotel and just crashed for the night um, and then picked up some Dramamine and the next morning we tried again. <laughs> um, so the day before leaving, um, I topped off my gas tank and that only cost me $28. Um, and then I did get lunch for me and my husband before I left. Um, and which also the price of Subway is just getting ridiculous. Anyone else just remember a good old $5 foot long? <laughs> it 
you could get two foot longs for ten dollars and that was it i'm like we only got two subs two drinks and a sandwich and that was uh two subs two drinks and i think like two cookies because only one of us got the full meal and it was like 36 dollars um so as you can see i wrote down the expense the category that i took the cash out of um well the account that i charged it to and then the category that i took the cash out of so as you can see i did put almost all of these purchases on credit but i immediately paid them off with the cash from um these because i didn't want to carry around too much cash if we were going to be walking around dc um, so I only took a couple of cards with me and used Apple Pay for a few things. Um, so the majority of my expenses were on gas and the one hotel fee. Um, when we got down there, we were supposed to do the zoo, but the heat index was so high, um... And the air quality wasn't the best due to the um, forest fires, um, the smoke being blown down from Canada. Um, so we decided to not spend too much time outside. Um, so we skipped the zoo um, and we did like a little shopping day. And I was actually very proud of myself. I didn't buy too much. The only thing that I purchased is I spent $159 at Vera Bradley um, because I had to replace a wallet that I broke. Um, and then I did get a keychain to hold my AirPods. Um, but that's, I think, almost the only thing that I purchased while we were down there. I mean, I did spend $10 at the Smithsonian for a pair of earring, uh, earrings. Um, Cause I'm finding like, when I was a kid, I used to buy, you know, mugs and shot glasses from everywhere we visited. Um, as an adult, I don't have the space for those items. Like I love mugs, but where am I gonna put a mug from every adventure that I go on? So I'd rather get some little trinkets that I could put in a little box or um, a piece of jewelry that I could wear. Um, the other things that I do like to get are um, smushed pennies. I'll try to get those from wherever we go. And I was trying to see if I could find the one that I got from DC in my jar here. Um, probably not going to be able to find it. Yeah, it probably already got shoved in the bottom. Um, but I did get one smushed penny, which was actually kind of a hassle. Um, the smushed penny machines at the museum, they actually changed it because it used to be you cranked it to whichever image that you wanted. You put your four quarters and a penny in. Um, once you were at the dial that you wanted, you just push your coins in and then start cranking it. Um, this one you didn't put quarters in you had to put a whole dollar in so while i'm trying to hold the lever in place for the image that i want i'm trying to shove a dollar into the machine and then the machine provides a penny for you um or you could have used your credit card um to buy the penny but then uh you would have had to buy four because of the charge for the credit card um just kind of missed the whole put your own penny in and just smush it <laughs> um but yeah when we were down there um we stopped at walmart on the way down to get some snacks um i got like a mini first aid kit just in case we got some trash bags which thank goodness we got the trash bags um, then we did the stop at Best Western. I did have to stop for gas again. Um, the next full day that we were down there, again, we did a little bit of shopping. So Vera Bradley was my only purchase from that day. Um, and then on the third is the day that we actually went into the city. So we took a train from the suburbs into DC um, and that cost $7 per trip. 
so $14 total. Um, pretty much everything else we did in DC was free. So the Smithsonian Museum was free. We did, we walked the mall um, and saw a few of the sites. Um, and then we also did the National Archives, which is free. Um, and I thought that was really cool because that was one of the buildings that I didn't get to see when I went um, as a kid. We didn't do the National Archives, so it was cool to see um, some of the older documents. Um, and then on the way home, um, which was the next day. We only spent two full days in the area. Um, I stopped for gas one more time. Well, two more times. So the first gas stop got me to my best friend's house. Um, and then I was practically out of gas. So I had to stop again bet between her house and my house to fill up again. So that is what I spent. Um, so out of everything that I budgeted from the actual vacation envelope, I have $140 left. So I spent $360 pretty much on hotels and gas. And then I think $24 between the earrings and the train tickets. Um, so some of the gas came out of my gas envelope and then some of it came out of vacation. Um, and that was pretty much my trip. Um, so I do have more trips coming up in a couple of weeks. So at least I have a little bit of money um, going into that. Um, the next trips that we have to make, um, we do have to pay for lodging. So it's going to be a little bit pricier. Um, but I'm hoping that we can keep the costs low again. So... Just wanted to give you guys a little update and I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, and if you watched until the end of the video, uh, let me know what kind of trips you guys are taking this summer and um, or what kind of trip you'd be most excited to take in the future. So, all right. Have a good one. Bye.